Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem. FTRE 2017 paper number 2 and the problem number is 23. Let's understand this. We have been given that in the following figure, O is the center of the circle. AB is 6 cm, AC is 5 cm. Then find out what is the product of AO, that's radius, into AX. Now, since we got AO into AX, can I say AO is nothing but half of AE and AX? We want to leverage similar triangles here, but to have similar triangles, we have to understand which two triangles are similar here. So for that, my first step will be to identify any angles. We know AE is diameter, that means angle in semicircle is right angle. So can I go ahead and put angle ACE equal to 90 degrees? We can do that. Also, so we got, if I consider triangle AXB, AXB and ACE, we got 90 degrees. Can we get another angle? Uh, from if I look from AC, I see angle AEC equal to angle ABC or ABX. So angles in the same segment are equal. So we have this angle equal to that angle. So let's go ahead and write down this angle is equal to that angle. So now you can see triangle AXB and ACE are similar to each other. Once we understand that problem is pretty simple, just write down the proportional sides automatically will get our answer. So let's go to the first step. First we'll write down in triangle AXB comma triangle ACE. How we know these are similar to each other? First we'll write down angle AXB is equal to angle ACE is equal to 90 degrees. We know that. Not only that, angle AEC is equal to angle ABC, but ABC is also equal to ABX. These two angles are equal. How? Because angles in the same segment. Angles in the same segment are equal. So, if I look from AC, if I look from AC, AC to E, AC to B, both angles are equal. Angle ABC equal to angle AEC, but ABC is equal to ABX. So, we can write down, therefore, triangle AXB is similar to triangle ACE. Now, once we know that, we can write down the corresponding sides. Let's write down corresponding sides here. What are the corresponding sides? AX divided by AC is equal to BX divided by CE is equal to AB divided by AE. So if two triangles are similar, corresponding angles are equal and also corresponding sides are proportional. Now what they are asking us, we need AX. Okay, we know AC information. We know AB information. We also know AE is 2 into AO. So that means everything what we want is available in first and last. So let's go ahead and write down that. Can we write down AX divided by AC is equal to AB divided by AE which is nothing but 2 into AO. Let's do cross multiplication. We get 2 into AO into AX is equal to AB into AC. Now, we want AO into AX. So, can I write down AB into AC by 2? AB into AC by 2. But what is AB? AB is 6. AC is 5. 6 into 5 by 2. That's equal to 15 centimeter. So, the right option is option A, which is equal to 15 centimeter. Now, to solve this problem, what we have to understand is that we have been given a right angle triangle. Can I get any another right angle triangle? 
why they have given a circle because from ninth class we understood that angles in same segment are equal so the circle is given for us to identify these two angles once we have equal angles one pair of and 90 degrees with us we know these two triangles are similar we write down the corresponding sides and leverage the values given to AB and AC and also diameter equal to 2 times of radius we get our answer AY into AX equal to 15 centimeter let's move to the next problem let's write down what is given to us what we understand from this cos alpha plus beta sin gamma plus lambda cos alpha minus beta sin gamma minus lambda so then we have to find out which of one of this condition is correct now you see cos alpha plus beta cos alpha minus beta if I am able to bring this up to left hand side and take this to right hand side can I apply componendo and dividendo and uh, try to simplify this by using the transformations which is 11th class NCRT so let's go there write down first we'll write down cos of alpha plus beta divided by cos of alpha minus beta is equal to sine of gamma minus lambda divided by sine of gamma plus lambda now what is component or dividend is pretty simple if a by b equal to c by d if a by b equal to c by d i can write down a plus b by a minus b equal to c plus d by c minus d now what is the use of doing that by using that we can actually use transformations so let's go ahead and write down that we'll write down cos of alpha plus beta plus cos of alpha minus beta divided by cos of alpha plus beta minus cos of alpha minus beta is equal to sin of gamma minus lambda plus sin of gamma plus lambda divided by sin of gamma minus lambda minus of sin of gamma plus lambda now we have to remember the transformation how we can use cos x plus cos y cos x minus cos y then sin x plus sin y and sin x minus sin y so let's go ahead and write down this next step so let's use transformations we have cos of alpha plus beta plus cos of alpha minus beta similarly we have cos of alpha plus beta minus of cos of alpha minus beta now what is cos of alpha plus beta plus cos of alpha minus beta that is 2 cos alpha cos beta it's just formulas from transformation similarly cos of alpha plus beta minus of cos of alpha minus beta is minus 2 sin alpha sin beta sin of a minus b plus sin of a plus b is 2 2 sin a cos b again one more formula we have here so that is 2 sin gamma cos lambda divided by we have here sin of a minus b minus of sin of a plus b which is nothing but negative of sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b so i can write down minus 2 cos gamma and sin lambda now minus 2 2 minus 2 2 will cancel out we have cot alpha cot beta is equal to tan gamma into cot lambda or can I say cot alpha cot beta cot gamma equal to cot lambda or the answer is option D can we write down option D is the correct answer so I know it's a 10th class exam FTR you attend but you know FTR always looks into 11th class syllabus this is pretty much NCRT 11th class transformation trigonometry so you just know the formulas it's pretty simple but if you don't know the formulas then it's 
little bit tough compound angles and trigonometry transformations so these are the two problems we solved in this particular session they are problem number 23 and 24 which are having only one answer correct